morning guys look the day has finally arrived that we've been waiting for for i don't know how long but y'all know i've been talking about it several times that we're going on a cruise and it's here it is currently 10:48 a.m we've been up since about 7 this morning getting ready so we can get to the airport are you here so we can um we're flying now we're flying to Miami where we will spend the night there and then we'll board Carnival Celebration tomorrow. Um, the cruise ship that we're going on is their latest ship that they built. Oh, awesome, look, family people that are going on the Carnival Celebration. So this is the first eight day sailing though that will be leaving Miami and we cannot wait. My girls are excited, my whole family is excited and I'm bringing you guys along and we're gonna have a good time together. Ship squad, just hold on it, we're gonna be ready. Time has arrived. We're now boarding the ship. I mean, look, I'm all back with y'all. I'm boarding the ship. We're getting on the plane. <laughs> I'm all the way wrong. We have officially landed in Miami. No, we don't board the ship until tomorrow, but we have a day to hang out in Miami. We're definitely gonna have to find some food. I'm looking for Polo Tropical. If you guys haven't tried that, you definitely should try it. So, um, the last time we came down, we rode to Key West. <laughs> we were trying to find it, but there, we were gonna eat there, but they weren't open yet. So, I'm definitely gonna make sure I get some before I leave here this time. So that's definitely gonna be somewhere that I plan to stop and eat. The flight was great. It was a smooth takeoff and a smooth landing. Other than my kid being super excited, like she's never flown before, but I'm all for it, she's excited. She was talking extremely loud on the plane and excited about I'm flying, so that was definitely awesome. Um, say hi guys. Hi. So until we meet up with the rest of the family, we're about to grab something to eat and, well no, we're about to get bags and then we'll leave. And then get something to eat. I'll check back in with you guys later. Bye. Y'all, I finally made it to Polo Tropical. Mmm. Y'all know I've been trying to make it here since we rolled down here to Key West. And I didn't get a chance to make it because they weren't open yet. So I made sure we made it today. Although I already started eating <laughs> and ate the food, I still had to make sure I showed y'all I made it. And um, I'm enjoying the cilantro sauce right now that they have. We came to the one over here by the hospital because it was close by where we're staying. So uh, we're going to finish eating. This part will be the end of tonight that I vlog. And in the morning, we're going to pick back up because, you know, we're boarding the ship in the morning. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace. Welcome back, Tip Squad. The day has finally arrived. We made it to boarding. Well, let me take you back this morning. I didn't get to vlog much this morning because it was a lot going on. We're getting the girls up ready, getting breakfast and trying to get Uber to get here and everything. But we finally made it to the terminal here. And this is the ship we're gonna be boarding. It's the Conorville Celebration. Y'all excited? Yeah. Yeah, we're all excited. Um, T and my little ones always talking about getting in the water, which we're not definitely doing at this moment. We so ain't going in the water. Oh, okay. We're gonna find us some lunch first once we get on. You know, there's plenty of things to find. And then we're gonna, um, you know, hopefully get to our room to get unpacked and everything. So I can't wait to get on. Can't wait for you guys to see the kind of fun that we're gonna have. So tip squad, make sure you guys tune in and check us out. See you later. This afternoon. <laughs> Yes, but I don't know yet. It's been a hustle bustle trying to get on the ship today, y'all. It's been a madhouse. And it's not their process. It's just maneuvering around a lot of people with kids. It gets a lot. But we're managing. We're finally getting some food. I chose to eat at Shack um, Chicken Sandwich. Big Shack Chicken, I think it's what it's called. We all did, of course. And um, we're just trying to eat and get settled in the room and be ready for a sell away party tonight. That's about it for right now. Until the excitement, the fun starts. The excitement is just getting on the ship here.
Beach. It's officially about to be vacation time. So as I figure out what I want to drink, I'm going to get this. We're at the Latitude Bar. Um, I've seen a couple cruise videos. And they um, had a couple good drinks. So I don't exactly know what I want, but it's officially vacation time because the drink is about to be in my hand. Top with a aromatic bubble that burst with uh, snow made it in sake. Push the nearest elevators. Guys, this is right here when I just got the drink. That one right there. Hmm. Okay, I want you to do something for me. Okay. You're gonna take these rose petals uh -huh. and then with your fingers, and then when I make bubble, you will make a wish. Say kampai, that's cheers in Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. And you're gonna put rose petals over the bubble. Okay, so make a wish, then put it over the bubble. And say kampai. 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 Okay, make a wish. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers to Tip Squad. That's good, y'all. That tastes pretty good. It's official party time. Uh, my sister in law just got over here. We're about to get her drink because. Today's her birthday. We boarded the ship on her birthday, so we're getting ready to get her a drink for her birthday and, um, you know, have us a good old time. All right, BFF, say hello to the camera. Hello. 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 It's her birthday today. She's about to get her drink. What are you getting? Oh, uh, old fashioned. So, yes, it's official party time now. Y'all, it is real awkward that you run into someone that has like similar birthdays, similar names, and everything. I just met Miss Denise here. Look, is Renee your first name? Renee is my first name. Renee is her first name. Of course, y'all know Renee is my middle name. And her birthday is May 16th. Mine is May 17th. She has two kids. I have two kids. She has two boys, and I have two girls. Like. That's a sign right there. This is gonna be a good time here Absolutely. on Carnival Celebration. We're right now still hanging out at the bar, um, Latitude Bar right now. So if you ever get on this ship, come to the Latitude Bar and look, you're gonna meet some great people and have a good time. Cause we're certainly having a great time already. And it's not even, it's still day one, a couple hours in and we're having a good time. left the port. Nope, still here, <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> That's the blue margarita this time. Let's give it a try. That's pretty good too, y'all. Of course, I got sugar on the rim. Not a big salt fan. Unless I like might do a shot or something, I'll do salt in the line, but this is sugar. But it tastes pretty good. Y'all ready for the surprise? Yeah. Woo! Wow. Y'all ready for this?
that's okay. We should get a nap out before we have dinner reservations at the steakhouse. For tonight is sick, so let's let her get her nap out. Somebody else is still ready to party, though. Changed up uh, to the, it's still day one. We're getting ready to head to the steakhouse for dinner tonight. And then the girls want to go to camp. So we're gonna allow them to go to camp and find something else to get into. So let's go get out. Go. Here, the corner. Come on, come on. Y'all, this is a cute, a cool little, watch out, <laughs> This is a cool little um, interactive board here. You can, I can touch any one of these places here and it'll show you where it is and where we're going. Say so, like we're on the Carnival Celebration ship if I touch it. And it's going to show you everywhere we're going. It's pretty neat. Y'all, I currently don't know what I want to eat. I'm trying to look at the menu. But I am hungry. We're at the um, Fahrenheit um, Steakhouse here. And you have to scan the menu on the barcode here. Lots of choices. Well, it's, it's not a whole lot on the menu, but it's enough. I don't know what I want. So, let's figure it out. Oh, you ain't tried it. You had it there. I just want to shout out a butter. Oh. I don't even know what it's called. Hey, I need some okay, so, Y'all, the last time I came here, they didn't have these little slider cheeseburgers, but they got them back this time. Yeah. Look, how, look, first of all, let me put it back so you can see what it looks like. It's a little slider cheeseburger. And it has a small tomato on it as well. Yes, it does. Mama, say my grace. You said your grace? Thank you so much. My kid is telling me, reminding me, I need to say my grace. Amen. You probably eat this in like two bites. But I'm going to try it out though. So for my starter, guys, I got the lobster bisque. And I haven't tried it. I've had it before and it was good the last time I had it. So I expect it to be good this time. It is. It's pretty good. I have the ribeye. It's the... Thank you. you don't got and the broccoli. Awesome. Now I gotta take this garlic and smear it over my um, steak here. Happy birthday, dear Mia. Happy birthday to you. We're still celebrating my BFF's birthday. So we had to sing happy birthday and she got her special cake, some cheesecake. She's acting shy. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So just finished dinner. It was awesome. I'm like super full. Super full. So now we're going to head take the kids to camp. Y'all, my battery died. So I hear it. I'm going to change my battery. So I'm going to go ahead and end tonight's vlog. It's end of day one. We've had a, had a good time. Still having a good time. So we're going to head back out, hang out some more while the kids are at camp before we pick them up. And I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow. See ya. Good morning, guys. It's day two. It is currently, what time is it? 10.13. We've been up since about 8 this morning. As you can see, my room is kind of empty right now. My family already headed out to get brunch. We decided on getting sea day brunch today for breakfast instead of getting up super early to eat breakfast since we're here for like eight days. So my crew went ahead and headed out to go get seated and I stayed behind to finish everything and to go meet them. So I'm currently headed out to go meet them so we can get some good brunch this morning. The girls have been super hyped since they woke up. We kind of let them wake themselves up this morning instead of us waking them up but it's too easy for them to do that anyway because they were so hyped from yesterday they fell asleep super late so they didn't wake up till about 8 30 this morning 
which isn't bad at all. So, get ready to meet them, eat some great breakfast, and, um, well, brunch rather, whatever we decide to eat on the menu. But we've heard it, it's pretty good, so definitely gonna have to try that out. I finally made it with the rest of the family, y'all. So, fun thing here. Um, on my way, trying to hurry scurry to come meet up with my family for the Sea Day brunch. I met a subscriber here and his name was Jody. So hopefully I get to meet him again so um, I can put him on camera. But he's from Michigan. And um, it, that was pretty interesting to be on a cruise ship and you meet um, one of your subscribers. Guys, I'm telling y'all, if y'all see me out and about, please like say something. Say, hey, you know, mention something. And I definitely would talk. I speak. I promise you, like, that like is so exciting to, to meet new people and to meet the people that follow my channel so I'm definitely excited about that um, hence the, like we're all wearing our tip squad shirts today so I'm gonna have to show them to you it's kind of hard right now for me to show everybody because we're sitting at the table Ooh, my kids are getting their food oh Tegan you got some pancakes the ship is a little rocky this morning, so <laughs> she um she's getting a little seasick. So I'm gonna have to get her some um, drama name or stuff. But I'm um, gonna get ready to get our food. Hour hasn't come yet, so we'll check back in in a minute. Food has arrived. Oh, I got an omelet. Has tomatoes. Onions, mushrooms, spinach, ham and cheddar. And this is some um, cheddar grits and bacon. Of course, my kids has the fire in the food. Hubby over here has the uh, mushroom and bacon. Rancheros. Uh, I can't remember. So. That's crazy, good. And my oldest one has ordered another thing of pancakes to get a plate clean. Y'all, brunch was awesome. It was pretty good. Kids loved it. As y'all see, my oldest ate two pancakes and they were pretty good size pancakes. So we left them downstairs real quick with Granny and um, had to run back upstairs and do a couple of things. And I'm sure they've already been here to clean the room. So, Oh, I forgot to mention y'all. So look at the number of my room. So of course it says 12, 345, but one, two, three, four, five. Can't forget our room number, L. So, we've got a little room here. Of course, this is where Hubby and I sleep. My kids, I have two, two kids bunk, but they both want to sleep beside each other. So, they both sleep on the top bunk here. And we had the room um, decorated, what their grandmother did, had the room decorated with the cat in a hat little thing for them. And they actually have it on their pillowcases. Let me see if I can pull it down so they can see it. They were totally in love with this. But they have the cat in the hat on their pillowcases as well. Like I said, they both want to sleep on the top bunk. So we have them both up here. And um, they're in love with the balcony, of course. Anytime we book, we always want to get a balcony because they love to come out here and we love it as well. So It's nice and calm out here right now. Very peaceful. So This is where we can sit at at night sometimes. We'll do the day. Just depends. All right. So we're getting ready to head back downstairs where my kiddos at. They're down there getting a build there. Of course, like they need something else, but these kids, you gotta love them. So, we get ready to head down. Heading out, oh, they already bought our towel pit too. Uh, I think it's an elephant, look. My eyes could be deceiving, but it has a trunk here and some ears to tuck in. I think this is an elephant. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think it is. Because I'm like, well, the back legs are, legs are laid out, and I'm not sure if an elephant really like relaxes like that, but I don't know. So y'all let me know. Drop it in the comments. But let's get ready to head back downstairs. It's kind of a madhouse down there. Kids are excited to get those um, Build-A-Bears. Of course, y'all know, um, <laughs> y'all see me eating a lot up here. I mean, what happens when you go to groups? You eat. So, trying to burn some calories and taking the stairs to the elevator. Plus, I didn't want to wait anyway, so. Why not take the stairs? Oh. Y'all, this ship is still like so new that you smell like the fresh paint and the newness of the ship still. So that's pretty cool. Hadn't had that experience yet until now. So that's pretty awesome. 
We missed it, y'all. We got here today already in line to get the bear. So then I gotta show it to you guys. What you got, Tia? Turn around. Let me see it. You gotta show it to the camera. What do you have? That's a llama. And you have a bear. Yes, you have a bear. Did you name him? No. I named mommy. Tell the camera. I named mommy. Right here. Okay. Oh, it's a reindeer. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it was a llama. I'm sorry. You want a polar bear? You got a polar bear, TV? Yeah, so we just finished taking a picture. My crew looked my family today. We wore our six fly shirt. Remember, um, the, if you watched my last video, if you hadn't watched it, make sure you um, watch my last video um, where I wore my heated gear and was just riding around town. Like I had my girl shirts made, and this is the reason why because we all need some Tip Squad shirts to wear. So if you haven't purchased any Tip Squad gear, make sure you drop down under the video. I have my link up there posted where you can get your uh, T-shirt, hoodie, mug, whatever you need. But this is kind of what they will look like. Where we have several colors up there posted. So. Check the crew out, y'all, with their tip squad shirts. The train. Tip squad. Tip squad. Tip squad. Tip squad. Tip squad. Y'all gonna join tip squad. <laughs> now joining us, we want to practice ringing those bells. So everyone, ring your bells. Everyone, everyone. We're so at, we're getting ready to do the Dr. Seuss the air, um, ring your bells, but whenever parade. I get down, so of course stop it's noise your bells, and they okay? love every bit of it. They have bells. Ready? Set. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, now, march. All right, so I want everyone to stand up. Like thing one and thing two. Who likes, does anyone like the Grinch? Poor and here's a who. A striped hat. Wait, who is that? What? What's the name? Oh, who likes the cat in the hat? I like that one too. That one. Our crew is here. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So apparently there is a flip to come. Not really sure when she get the wind, but I caught like the middle of it. So I just recorded some of it. Uh, like I said, there's plenty of things to do up here. I've just been walking around at the moment. Had some ice cream. Um, and uh, just kind of hanging out. Now I think we're going to go find look, y'all. I know every time I turn this camera on, I'm probably eating some food. But it's probably what I'm about to get ready to do, go find some food to eat time to pick the kiddos up from camp we're gonna pick them up about 20 minutes early pick them up um, time by five and they can go back at six after we're gonna take them to dinner or if they have something else they want to do we're gonna go do something with them and if they want to come back to camp right away we're gonna bring them back which I'm sure they will because they're loving all the activities that they're doing making bracelets and everything else so we're definitely gonna be um, bringing them back because they're definitely enjoying themselves can't wait to see their faces when we pick them up. Though. All right, they just got out of camp. How was camp, guys? Good. Good. Did you have fun? You going back tonight? Yeah. Yeah. You got you what, sissy? <laughs> the little one wants to make sure she can find him. With her, with her sister, they split him up in, by age group. So we'll see how Tegan does later. She did great last night, but of course she was in the same. Room with a sister, and today they split her up in her age group, so we'll see how that goes. But other than that, you have fun, right? Fun, can you not, please? Ah, uh, children, they love to play with stuff. We gotta find some food now. Trying to pick an anchor out tonight. You did? I knew that. Good. So I have to, my kids that want to eat that, of course they want pizza because you can get pizza anytime you want here. <laughs> and if they like it, I love it. So eat all the pizza they want. I got me some salmon. Um, I forgot the name of the salmon that I have. But it has like a maple and a smoked and maple salmon. I have some pulled pork, fries, mac and cheese, and the baked beans. I don't know about y'all, but this is hot here. Still currently day two. Decided to hop into the punch liner. I'm gonna check out a comedy show here. Got the girls back off at camp. They were excited to go. They're excited, I'm excited. So that's more time for daddy and I to hang out. And uh, like I said, we're about to catch us a comedy show real quick. See what this be about. See if we get some good laughs in. See if I can kind of show y'all the room real quick. But, but yeah, that's it. Well guys, I thought I was gonna see a comedy show. Stayed in there for about a minute when the actual comedian came up. Then camp call. Why? Because my youngest, Tegan, decided she didn't want to stay in camp. And look what she's doing now. But they're just crying her eyes out because she wants to come back with mommy. So now she's having the time of her life. So, I don't know. Going back to the room, I guess, to hang out. Uh, come on, find out, baby. Come on. Come on, bud. So I'm going to end day two here because tomorrow we get off and go to Grand Turk. So we're going to end it and call it a night and just get excited for tomorrow. So until then guys, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning. Welcome back to Squad. Today is day three of my eight day cruise. We have made it to our first stop this morning, which is Grand Turk. Um, normally when I come it's like very sunny the weather is real nice right now like it's a little overcast outside um, it's calling for a chance of rain it's not a real high chance but it's some rain so we came up to grab some breakfast real quick before we get off the ship to head on to the alley yes yes thank you uh-huh um, so the girls got some cereal they had some Lucky Charms. I had some little Cheerios. Uh, I wish it was a Honey Roast. Uh, so, 
they're getting their bellies full so they can go out and have a good time out on the beach before the rain comes and we'll get back on the ship and have lunch or so so I'll check in with you guys once I'm out on the beach. We have finally made it to the beach. Um, there's another ship that's coming up. Put it on camera real quick. Other than that, we get ready to enjoy this water. Enjoy the beach time. Of course, we gotta get some photos. It's all about the memories. And um, enjoy this nice sunshine, this nice weather that we don't currently have at home. Um, it was raining earlier so some people kind of went back on but the rain is cleared out for now and the sun is out and it's wonderful out here. This is, this is my water child. She loves the water. She's been asking about getting in the water before we got here. We've been out here for a good at least two hours or so, I would say. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap it up out here. It just feels so good, you know, being at the beach in December. And this beach is always one of the nicest beaches that we've come to, so. Get ready to wrap it up, get back to the ship. Oh, before we go to the ship, I gotta go out with Margarita Bill to walk around. And I gotta visit the Harley store here. They have one here. I'm gonna definitely go in there and try to see if I can find another shirt. And look for a poker chip. Because the last time we came here in January, they, they were out. They didn't have any. So hopefully I have a poker chip here. So I can get my poker chip, get me another t-shirt. And then we'll help head back and get back on the ship and get some lunch. I'm getting hungry. So I'll check back with you guys when we head on down to Margaritaville and the Harley um store. <laughs> Old party bus, a party boat. They out there having a good old time out here. You know? So look, you can have a good time on the cruise. If you go to your stop, look, there's several things that you can do. Life is, y'all gotta join. here at Grand Turkey. This is where a lot of people come and hang out at. And they have a, a bar in the pool and you know serve food and everything. Everybody knows what Margarita Bill is. So let's walk through. I just want to talk before I get in there because you know they're gonna be playing music. Alright let's go. Last time we came here in January, guys, they didn't have the poker chips, but they had them this time, so I was able to get one to add to the collection. So I can say, plan accomplished this time. I'm a happy camper. I got to get my chip and a shirt. 
So now I can officially get back on the ship now. There's nowhere else I need to go. I've been to the beach, walked through Margaritaville, we visited the Harley store. Now it's time to get back on the ship. I'm hungry, our girls are hungry, and one of them is really sleepy, so. Let's get back on the ship, let's go. We're back, we're all refreshed. We have gotten all the sand that was all over, had sand everywhere. But if you're a beach goer, you know that that comes with it. So we're all cleaned up, we're refreshed in the sense of cleaned up. We're gonna get something to eat and then um, maybe, the, I don't know what the girls are gonna do. We'll do something until it's time for them to go to camp. And we have dinner reservations tonight at the Tepanaki. So, oh, here's our um, towel pit already, guys. What do y'all think this is for tonight? The kids, I don't know what this is. A doll or something? I don't know. It's not. It's a knot? What is it? It's an elephant. That is not an elephant. That is an elephant. You see, it has a very trunk like there. Okay, we're not going to start this argument. Y'all drop in comments below. Tell us what you think it is. All right, let's go. We're going for dinner. What is it? I mean, lunch. Come on. Seems to be the hangout spot. We're back at pizza again. Kids love pizza, and this is what they're gonna eat again. So they want pepperoni pizza this time, but I'm not gonna I'm be mad at them because pizza is good. So. And last night they ate like a whole and a half, like one whole pizza and a half. But that's how much pizza they've been eating. First drink of the night, y'all. So I'm at bar 820. It's on the if you ever get on the ship, it's on the eighth floor. Um the drink I got is called the Flamingo. Um it's pretty good so far. They didn't shy away from the liquor, I tell you that. But it's pretty good. Um, I ended up eating pizza for lunch. It was good though. I tried one of the new ones that they have on the ship here that don't have an other one. So I thought we'll just sit out here and hang out until it's time for dinner. Well, we got the kids off to camp. They actually went to camp right now. They were excited to go. Hopefully, Tegan stays there for a while. But we're going to pick them up in about an hour or so to take them to dinner and then take them back. Um, so we're hanging out, chilling at the bar. We're still at Port though, we're still at Grand Turk. We haven't left yet. And we still have the Carnival Freedom, the ship that um, was pulling up um, to dock while we was out there on the beach, and I showed you guys. So this is the ship that's directly behind us. They're still here too, of course. Of course they're here, they're still here. We came here first. So the island was, uh, Margaritaville was really like partying out there. We had two ships here, so they were having a good time. The kids were tired, they were sleepy, they were hungry, so we didn't get to stay too long. So now, it's me and hubby time. Hanging out here at the bar, chilling. Come on the beach? Huh, Mommy? Uh-uh. Can people still be on the beach at night? See the other ship over there? Mommy. Y'all, we get ready to head in for dinner tonight at the Tepanaki. Um, if, it, if you're familiar with Miyabi's back at home, but it's just like the Japanese steakhouse where they cook in front of you and have the entertainment. So we gotta head out to here for dinner. I don't know exactly. No. I've been here on the um, Mardi Gras ship. I went to um, dinner and it was nice. So I'm excited to go again. Of course, I'm not gonna eat all that food. I try to though. And um, debating if I'm gonna get a drink or not because um, I had one the last time, but I'm definitely I'm hungry though, as always. I know y'all see that all the time right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna eat. They have combinations. I don't want to eat all that. I just want one thing, but I have questions about one thing too. I definitely don't want any steak. We had steak on Sunday night. So I don't want steak. I know for sure I want shrimp. So I don't know if I just want to do that shrimp by itself or I want shrimp with I don't want chicken either. So it's just a total toss up though. 
It's not. It's not really spicy. So we have a fight. First appetizer coming. We get four appetizers. She's like, nope. <laughs> spicy tuna. Spicy tuna on the rock, y'all. It's tuna. How many of y'all would try this? All right. Here goes nothing. That's the smallest one. My mother in law was scared to eat it. Oh. You ate the hot chip, you can do this. Yeah, you ate the hot chip. Try it. You know this going on YouTube. They have tried something different. All right. So the next is this is the pork belly yakitori, sesame asparagus fries, seaweed salad. So this is what this is, y'all. All right. I'll try this. Okay. So the pork belly. It's wrapped around the asparagus. The asparagus is in the inside of the pork belly. You see that? Oh, it's some tropical asparagus. That's not good. That's not good. Jayla said that. Listen, Jayla said this isn't good. What is this? Is this asparagus? And we're gonna get all these um, appetizers, and then we'll get our meal. This is a seven course meal, y'all. This is why I'm gonna be full before I even get my food. The next part of the appetizer is miso soup. It's a miso soup, y'all. I don't, I don't even know. I'm gonna like this one. I'm gonna pass on this, y'all. We gonna pass on this, but he about to pass out the rice, so I'm, I'm waiting. All right, y'all, I got some salad. I like it. For the vegetables, y'all got onions, sweet potatoes, zucchini, um, red and green, um, and yeah, just red and green, um, bell peppers, and then um, got rice, y'all. I got my shrimp. I made my chicken and my shrimp. Got my veggies. All right, you ready to get down now to eat? Pretty doggone good. If y'all ever come up here, I need to try it out. Put the experience alone. It's entertaining. Mm -hmm. It tastes pretty good. And you'll have a good time. Alright, the last part of the meal. You get a chocolate bento um, box. So this is dessert with some green tea ice cream. I gotta pick it up so I can show you guys. I get to try this stuff out. I know, I remember the last time. I did not like everything in this box. More than like I eat the, stra the strawberry. I can't remember what else I did like. But I'm not taking everything out. Y'all, I am beyond full right now. The food was good though. Um, and like I said, it's definitely a fun experience if you ever go, so. so it's a must try. All right, what's next on the agenda? I need to find a show to go to. I think I'm gonna, we attempted to go to a comedy show last night before we got a call for camp to pick my kid up. So we're gonna try it again tonight, go to a comedy show. So if y'all ever um, get on a cruise, make sure y'all download the 
app that tells you everything that's going on. It's the Carnival Hub app. So. Let's see what's going on. It's 8:51. All right, we about to head over to the Limelight Limelight Lounge to go to the comedy show that we attempted to go to. We'll go see Billy D. Washington. Let's go check. Let's go down to the 7th floor. Y'all, I just went to um, some comedy shows. We went to um, the Limelight Lounge. We went to a PG comedy show. And then we went to a, um, a explicit 18 and older um, comedy show. They both were extremely hilarious. Like, I was laughing at both, so I wasn't disappointed about either show. They were really funny. Um, and even if you sit in the front row, they don't joke on you too bad with um, either show. But it was definitely funny. Um, so the kids are still at camp. Um, we got them there for the little night owls, which is open. Thank you to one. So um, we decided we'll come over to hang out at the uh, Golden Jubilee Bar. We haven't been to this bar yet, which there are several bars here on the ship. Oh, and we hadn't been to this one yet. I know on the. Um, Thank you. This bar on the Mardi Gras is called the um, Magnolia um, Bar. So we're at the Ju Golden Jubilee Bar now. Let's try this out. And this time, I have something simple. I just got a simple tequila sunrise. You can drink. And it's very nice. Well, I mean, everywhere I've been is nice. Just trying to enjoy my vacation for eight days on this cruise ship. Um, tomorrow we're going to be headed to, well, we're on our way now, but tomorrow we'll be at um, Amber Cove, the Dominican Republic. Stop. And um, my oldest baby's going to wear her auntie when she gets off. She's going to be doing zip lining. And I think she's going to ride horses. She'll tell me all about it. And we're going to take the youngest, and we'll probably do a tour or something. I'm not sure what I will absolutely do when we get off. But we'll be doing something. Uh, with her but they're enjoying yourselves we're enjoying ourselves for some reason I feel like this day has been pretty long um, we enjoyed ourselves at the beach got on and got our lunch um, did a couple shows took the girls to eat they had ice cream of course there's unlimited ice cream every day and pizza that is like the two things that they want all the time which is totally okay. We're on vacation, so they're allowed to have it. Look at him read it back. We're celebrating 50 years of fun shit. So, yes. Alright, guys. I'll check back in with y'all. Once I discover my next move, which probably will be picking the kids up and heading back to the room. Um, it's currently like 10, 10.30 right now, 10.32. Oh, I didn't show you that little phone they give you when you take the kids camp. They give you these phones here. So if they need to call you about the kids, you have a phone where they can contact you. All right, guys, I'll check back in with you guys later. Time to go pick the kiddos up. Had a good time sitting at the bar. Y'all, the bartenders are pretty cool. They'll sit there and have conversations with you. Be singing songs and stuff. Um, you meet awesome people sitting at the um, bar. Met a lady. Um, she used to live in um, Myrtle Beach. And she was here. She cruises a lot. Sitting at the bar talking. And um, it's just a pretty good time. Like, people are pretty cool, y'all. Gotta get out and mingle a little bit. And, um... Uh, the bartender, yeah. They definitely have you laughing, humming songs and singing things and whatever it may be. But they'll ask you, like, what do you, if you don't necessarily know what you want to drink, they'll make something up for you real quick. If you kind of tell them what you're looking for. So, that was a good time. Like I said, now we got to go pick the kids up from camp right there right behind you. We have to grab this elevator, go pick them up and get in for the night. Because we gotta get up in the morning and go to Amber Cove, like I said, Dominican Republic. Awesome, guys. Y'all just came back from camp. How was it? Yeah, I good. You had okay. fun? Yeah, well, I gotta get tired. Yeah, get I gotta get tired. We made our own band. 
Y'all did. What songs did you play? I made my pirate hat. A pirate hat? Yeah. All right. Watch it on my head. I guess saying that they had a good time is an understatement. So we're gonna go ahead and end this night right here in this vlog. And uh, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe to the channel. Um, we have more content coming along. Like I said, we got the call this tonight. We're gonna head on in. Tomorrow we'll be picking up where we'll be getting off at Amber Cove. So, all right, Tip Squad, until the next one. I love you guys. Bye.